Roots of Administration of Substances in Rats and Mice. This presentation will discuss the most common routes of administration of substance to experimental animals like rats and mice. There are common routes of administration in rats and mice. Number one, enteral or oral administration routes, like mixing the substances with food or water or by direct gavage. Second, the parenteral routes of administration like intramuscular, intraperitoneal, subcutaneous, and intravenous injections. This table shows the recommended volume of administration in different routes. For example, the recommended volume administrated by oral route is 10 ml per kg in rat and mouse. In intraperitoneal route, the dose recommended intraperitoneal in red is 10 ml per kg, while in intravenous, 5 ml per kg in both red and mice. In parenteral administration of substance, the appropriate route volume, site, and needle should be selected. Then all injections must be described in your approved protocol. All injections must be performed using sterile syringe and needles. A new needle and syringe should be used for each cage of rats. Intramuscular injection. The most important point in this route is to avoid injury of sciatic nerve, which runs along the length of the femur. Look here, the sciatic nerve at the middle of the thigh, classifying the muscles of the thigh into caudal muscle below and the cranial muscle above. You can inject in both muscles, cranial or caudal, but it is better to inject in the caudal muscle. Steps of intramuscular injection. First, rat is probably restrained, either two-handed with an assistant injecting the substance or using anesthesia. Then clean the area with alcohol. Point the needle caudally rather than cranially. Insert the needle into caudal muscle at a 45 degree angle. Aspirate first to ensure that you have not entered a blood vessel. Then inject the substance. Sides should be rotated for multiple studies. If you wanted to inject again for multiple injections, you should change the site. Intraperitoneal injections. This is the most commonly used parenteral route in administration of substance in rat or in mouse because it is simple, easy, and we can inject large volumes. The large surface area of the abdomen with abundant blood supply allow rapid absorption of solutions from this route, which is about one half to one fourth as rapid as from intravenous route. But we have some limitations during using this route. The sensitivity of the tissue for irritating substance and there is also less tolerance to solution with non-physiological pH. For example, if you inject a substance with acidic pH like imipramine hydrochloride, for example, this will cause irritation inflammation in the peritoneum at the site of injection. So you should need to do some 
more dilutions or use another route like intravenous or oral route because solutions injected by this route should be isotonic pH. Steps of intraperitoneal injection. First, the rat or the mouse is probably restrained. Either two-handed with an assistant to inject or using anesthesia. Clean the abdomen at the area of injection with alcohol. Insert the needle at a 30 degree angle in the lower right or lower left quadrant of abdominal cavity of the animal. Avoid injection in the upper quadrants so as to avoid injury of any abdominal organ like liver. After inserting the needle by a 30 degree angle, aspirate to ensure that you have not entered a blood vessel, then inject the material. Subcutaneous injection. In subcutaneous injection of any substance, either in mouse or rat, the injection is given in the scruff of the neck or scruff of the back. The hind quarters, by tinting the skin and making your injection. The maximum volume in subcutaneous injection, ranging from 2 to 3 cm in red. Steps of subcutaneous injection. First, restrain the red. Then, swap the area with alcohol. The second person will use the thumb and forefinger to make a tint of skin over the scruff, which is either in the neck or in the back. Insert the needle parallel to the skin. Here, there is no angle. Aspirate to ensure proper placement and then inject the material. Intravenous injections. This route has advantage over other routes because we can inject here solutions at a high concentration or high or low pH or even injecting an irritating substance but provide that the rate of injection is slow and precautions are taken to avoid getting the solution outside the vein. But we have limited volume here. The maximum volume is 0.1 milliliter per mouse or 0.5 milliliter per red. Steps of intravenous injection in rat or mouse. Place the animal in a restrainer or use anesthesia. Warm the rat tail using warm water or under a heat lamp or very simply by massage so as to help venous in congestion and the vein, the vein of the tail will be congested, especially the lateral vein will be clear and easily accessed. Stabilize the tail between thumb and forefinger of the hand doing massage. Swap the tail with alcohol. Start the injection at the middle or slightly distal part of the tail, just above the distal third of the tail. Insert the needle parallel to tail vein, 
penetrating 3 or 4 millimeter into the lumen while keep keeping the pivot of the needle face upwards. Don't aspirate because aspiration here will cause the vein to collapse. Inject the material slowly and you should see the vein plunge if the needle is properly positioned. If any swelling at the injection site or resistance to injection occurs, you should remove the needle and reinsert again slightly above, not below, because the lower part of the tail will be obstructed or collapsed. Enteral or oral administration, either mixing the substance with food or water or directly by using oral gavage. This route has many advantages. It is possible to inject large volumes of non-sterile substance or solution. We can also inject a solution with pH as low as 3, which we cannot inject intraperitoneal. But we have disadvantages. Number one, alkaline solutions are very poorly tolerated by oral route. Also, substances can be destroyed by gastric juice. And food content of the stomach can influence the rate and order of gastric emptying and the rate of absorption. Intragastric or direct administration by oral gavage is preferred over mixing substance with food or drinking water because by oral gavage the intake of the substance is precisely measured. Oral gavage is a common route of administration with a specified volume of material directly into the stomach. There are metal, straight or curved, and flexible plastic feeding gavage needles in various sizes for mice and rats. Look here the metal gavage needles. This metal gavage needles need a well-trained person so as to avoid injury of the esophagus but have advantage that the rat cannot bite it while plastic gavage has less chance of damaging the esophagus but the rats can bite them so it is suitable more to mice because mice can't bite. This table summarizes the recommended gavage needle size and the maximum volume of administration in both mouse and rat. Look here the maximum volume in mouse and rat should be less than 10 milliliter per kg. The length of the gavage in mouse is about 2.5 to 3.8 cm, while in red it began from 3.8 up to 10 cm. Before starting administration by gavage needle, you should make sure you measure the gavage needle for a proper length by measuring the distance from oral cavity to the fight process. Look here. This is the line indicate bottom of rib cage. And this is here the cephoid process. You should measure the needle to ensure that the substance will enter the stomach. After measuring the length of the gavage and be sure that it will reach the stomach, 
we begin the steps of gavaging. First, fill the syringe with the appropriate volume of the substance and attach the needle. Restrain the animal in an upright position. Using either a V-hold or crossover to immobilize the head and neck, but ensure that the animal can breathe freely. Place the tip or pole of the gavage needle into animal mouth. Slide the tip gently past the back of the tongue. Gently tip the animal's head back toward its spine so as head and neck are in a straight line. The needle should slide easily down the oesophagus very gently without any resistance. Don't force. If you feel any resistance, please remove the needle and reinsert again. After you make sure that you insert the needle probably reaching the stomach, then don't aspirate and inject the substance. Gavage needles should be wiped with gauze between animals. And after finishing oral gavage, the gavage needles should be cleaned with soapy water, rinse well, and allow drying before storing.